Hello, and thank you for joining me for a video review of a uh, helicopter design that is free to download on BrickLink. This is uh, built by a user who calls himself Wamchaka. And at the end of the video, I'll show you where to find this design on BrickLink. So, without further ado, here's my review. It's a kind of a Eurocopter Panther and maybe the the back part looks kind of like a Eurocopter Panther anti-submarine helicopter. The front looks a little bit like a Black Hawk. Overall it's pretty cool. Um, the tail section is about two studs wide and I feel maybe that would have been a little more realistic if it was maybe just one stud wide. But um, that's just me being nitpicky. It's a great looking helicopter, but I'd have to say that it's, it's pretty delicate. The rotors will spin, but uh, this, this helicopter can break apart pretty easily um, if it's mishandled. So it's mostly a display model. Um, I also want to say that uh, the, the designer, um, one shaka, uh, chose some pretty expensive pieces for this helicopter. So even though I was able to uh, f find about 50% of the parts, and um, I still ha and, and order the rest off BrickLink, it's still um, still still I had to uh, yeah it, I still probably spent about 180 to about 200 dollars out of my own pocket. Um, just uh, ordering the rest of the parts because a lot of these parts are rare or discontinued. Like these windows, getting them in clear would have been like four bucks a piece, five bucks a piece, and most sellers only had like one of them. So I had to substitute for blue or, uh, blue windows that uh, were a little easier to find but still discontinued and still um, expensive. Uh. Some design things, um, I had to add this, this little piece in here. If you download the design, you're going to have to add this in here because I tried to build it without adding this piece in here. And basically what it is, is made up of um, a 4x4 four four piece and a 1x4 piece. And I built it originally according to design and, and um, when I try to do it without putting a piece like that in the tail section, um, it literally exploded in my hand because it was so fragile. So this is for added stability. Um, also, in the design, when you're building out the nose section, there will be, the instructions will call for a one by four piece, um, but that's not actually gonna work. So you're gonna have to use uh, a piece that looks like this instead of the standard um, one by four with the studs. Um, on the bottom of the helicopter, and I wish I could show you this, um, the design will ask you to use like a one by 10 with a one by two to form out part of the bottom. And it'll ask you to do this twice, kind of like side by side each other, but that will not be very stable. So use a one by 12 instead when you're building out the bottom, you'll see it in the instructions. So um, anyway, here's where to find the actual instructions. If you go to bricklink.com and then you click on mocks, let's pretend I did that because this loads so slow, so I have the windows preloaded. It'll take you to this page. Now, over here, you type in naval helicopter and you hit search and then this window will pop up. So that's the design. It'll be in, be in a studio file um, and you can download the studio file. Uh, it, it, you have to use the studio app that uh, uh, BrickLink uses. And then you can, you can also uh, put together a parts list too. Uh, but the parts are very pricey, so you'll have to swap out some parts. Okay, well, thank you for watching my review. As you can see, it's a um, great looking helicopter. A little fragile though, not very uh, playable, 
but uh, a, a really challenging build, and it'll look great in your display case or your mantle.